Hi, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to repair faders or slide potentiometers that are used on many vintage analog synthesizers. This board is from a Roland SH1 that it was originally manufactured in 1978, so I probably won't be able to find the exact replacements. Uh, so instead, I'm going to desolder each fader from the board, open the faders up, and clean the internal contacts with Deoxit D100 cleaner. So now I'm working on desoldering the faders. You can do it two different ways. You can use a, a easy braid solder wick or a solder pump. I kind of use both. If it's a big glob, I'll do the pump first. I'll heat up the solder. Now sometimes it doesn't want to heat up the old solder, so it kind of seems counterintuitive, but if you add a little bit of solder first, it helps with the heat transfer. So then heat that glob back up, put my pump on it. Did not really suck up much. So I prefer to use the wick. You can just heat through the wick. I mean, it draws the solder into the wick. Takes a second there. There it goes. And it draws the solder up into the wick and off the board. So I'm just going to continue to do that until I get all of the joints clean. Now they got all the solder removed from all the joints for the most part. You can take a flathead screwdriver and slightly get under the, and just kind of slightly work each end out. Actually just come out as it is. Careful not to damage anything else. Another components around it. So there we go, let's see if it came out. Okay, I've got this uh, resonance fader pulled out and hooked up to my multimeter. The service notes for this keyboard says this is a 100K slide potentiometer. Right now I'm showing 3.5 ohms and it's very st stiff and hard to slide and it is not changing the resistance. So something is up internally. Um, so this one definitely needs to be taken apart and cleaned. Just using flush cuts to bend the tab just because it's easier to get in there. Be careful so you don't break them off because we will need to bend these back over. Now that those are all bent open, you can take this rear panel off. Hard to get it out at first. Now be careful when it comes out, you don't lose anything. And that looks like our problem with all that grime in there. Um, there's also quite a buildup on the actual contacts right in here. So I'm going to use a Q-tip and some of this Deoxit 100, a little spray. Already look at all the grime that's coming off of that, so that's definitely the problem. continue with that a little bit more. Also I'm going to, for the other contacts, I'm going to spray it right onto the Q-tip and remove the actual slide section from the housing. And we want to clean those little spring contacts really well. And already just a couple wipes I can already see it's looking better. I've also found sometimes it's a little stuck on there, you have to use a little screwdriver to just kind of knock off the little gunk. So once you get the contacts all clean, I'm also going to go and just clean the internal body and around the shaft and just clean up everything. Okay, now I got all the parts clean, you can see there was quite a bit of gunk in there. So I'm going to take a little transport knob section, place the spring back in there, and this little cover section that goes over the shaft, and that whole transport shuttle section thing goes back into the enclosure. And then again I marked, I gave a section, maybe a little one, that matches up to my one leg, which matches up to the board, so I know I have orientation correctly. Fit that back in there. 
And now we just bend these tabs back over and hold it back in place. So bend all these six tabs. I'm going to bend just two tabs first so I can test it. It already is moving much smoother. Look up to the multimeter. So now we'll see what the resistance is. So it looks like on the low end we're getting 90, yeah, close to 100. And this is supposed to be a 100 K slide potentiometer. So a little over 105 and it's down to uh, 37 ohms. So it's not 100% zero to 100, but much better and it will work. Since the fader tests out good, I bent the rest of the tabs back over and now I'm just going to reinstall it back into the board. Again, looking at my one, make sure it matches my one on my board. Line it up with all the holes, pop it through, and then re-solder those connections. And there you have it. That's how you repair a fader or slide geometer on a vintage analog synthesizer.